Hello, hello. Are you there? Hi. 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 Hi, hi. Hello, welcome. Welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Ready to start this time. And also because the one of the calls we have here together is to speak English and practice. Produce the language. Some people ask me, uh, teacher, what can I do to maximize my English skills? Or what can I do to speak English properly? The best recommendation is speak, speak, speak. Produce the language, learn vocabulary. So this is one of the best strategies we have to maximize your English skills. And also to be here in the class. That's good. So how are you? How are you today? <clears throat> Fine. How are you? Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, Carla. Um, I feel I'm bored in this moment because <laughs> um, I take a bath or wash my bath. What's the take a bath? Oh, you take a bath. Okay, yeah, you take a bath. All right, you took a bath. All right, that's great. So you are more relaxed. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. That's awesome. And fresh too. That's great. So welcome you all to our English class. Like every single class, we always have the opportunity to practice English and also learn vocabulary, have a feedback, and also practice. And one of the goals for this class is that you are going to intermediate. So you're pre-intermediate. So that means that you have to... Uh, speak English. You have to try to formulate the statements, formulate sentences, and you'll feel more comfortable with that. So let's begin. And always I ask um, about the class. Um, ¿Qué estudiamos? ¿Qué se acuerdan que estudiamos? Cuéntenme. Yesterday's class. ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? Cuéntenme. Whose color is that? Okay, demonstrative, right? Demonstrative. Mm -hmm. We practice vocabulary. And we practice vocabulary too. That's great, thank you. That's, that's fantastic. So we were very active yesterday in a class and also I could see that most of you were speaking in English. All right, that's okay. So with this part, we will start today with the rest of the class. So we, we will share the activities for this class. So we will uh, keep on working on section number three. That is the video conference number six. We have demonstrative one and ones. So if you remember when we were talking about some articles, cuando hablamos de algunas cosas de shopping que usted iba a comprar, Entonces decíamos, y quiero los azules. Y entonces usábamos the blue plus one or one. Si era singular, decíamos que era one. Y si era plural, decíamos que era ones, right? So we're saying in English, oh, the blue ones, the yellow ones, the red ones. So we're talking about um, amount. So also, how much is it? Okay, thank you. Carmen, she, Carmen wrote that. Emotions, uh, emotions in combination with colors, especially that happened in the United States. So we compared the colors with the emotions, like happy, trustful, uh, serious, jealous. So we're talking about that, about emotions and everything. So that is, that is something good. Thank you for the feedback. All right, so let's begin with this class. And we will have some other ideas about that part. So we have the first exercise that I want you to help me to develop in this case. It says complete the sentences using one or one. So we had to select if we use one or once. If the statement is singular, we use one. And if the sentence is or the word is plural, you say once. So this is what we had to do. So let's begin. And you can also write one or once. And then 
we will work together and we will you will give me the answer so i will give you uh, two minutes to complete it all right pero la prim perdón que es que hable en español pero no no siempre <laughs> me ocurre eh, pero en la primera no sería caer en redundancia no esta, esta, este bolso es muy antiguo. Necesito uno. Uno nuevo. Uh -huh. I need a new bag. A new one. Y no ya a new. <coughs> la A que está antes de new, antes de nuevo. No, ya está haciendo el, el, el papel de uno. Eh, acuérdese que en este caso A es un artículo indefinido. Y cuando usamos el new, entonces ya me refiero al objeto, un nuevo. Ok, ok. Entonces, gracias. ahí sería a new one. Son muy diferentes. Gracias. All right. Ok, entonces ya tenemos ahí el primero. Eh, les voy a dar ahí unos, unos dos minutitos y luego lo contestamos juntos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Let's go. Okay, let's see together and um, the possible answer for each one. So I will make it a smaller and um, and you will help me to answer this point. Let's see and look at this one. Okay, so the first one will be this bag is very old. I need a new one. Okay, so in that case, because it's singular, so we're going to use a new one. Remember that when we use a new one, the, the red one, the, the black one, the big one, so we are specifying which is the article. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, number two, a volunteer. Uh, small pineapples are sweeter than big ones. Okay, thank you, because it's Pluto, right? That's okay, thank you so much. So we're talking about Pluto. And uh, next one, number three. Another volunteer for helping with this, with this. Me. Yes, thank you. Hey, the new smartphones are much faster than the old one. Once. Okay, so we're talking about Pluto. Okay, that's okay, thank you. So the next one. Me. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, four. Which is your car? The black one or the white one? One. Thank you so much. So we are we are like um, comparing which one we had to select. That's okay. Thank you. Number five. She needs new shoes. Hello? Hello? Once. I'm sorry, I think there was uh, some issues with the connection. Can you try it again, please? Um, hi. Bueno, creo que ahí tuvo problemas con la señal. ¿Cómo, cómo nos quedaría a las cinco? One, once. Se me escucha. Ya. Yeah. Hola. Yes, we listen. Yes. Eh. Ajá. Onios, ajá. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Um, that will be the number um, six. Number six, volunteer. Yes. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Number six. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a third one free. Singular. Third one free. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Thank you. Number seven, volunteer. These dresses are expensive. Are there any cheap ones? Uh, cheap ones, as we say in Spanish, como baratos. Hay algunos baratos ahí, de cachada, entonces we say cheap ones. Muy bien, vamos con la, la ocho. Who's going to help me with that one? Number eight, me. Hello? Yes. You hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yad, Yad has three pens, a red ones and two green ones. It will be red one or red ones? A red, a red one mm -hmm. and two green ones. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So you can see here the examples and about the statements that you have completed. So you can see this example that, that definitely important to check that part, okay? So that is one of the ways. Congratulations guys for the work done on this exercise. So we can use also one and ones para referirnos a objetos. Todo pues todo cuando yo digo, oh, ¿cuál es? Los grandes o oh, el grande, el, el más caro, los más caros, los más bonitos. Entonces siempre pues agregamos el one or ones ya que pues esta estructura eh, nos indica el objeto al que estamos describiendo. Así sería eh, parte de la estructura. Describimos el objeto directamente al que estamos describiendo. ¿Preguntas? No, it's okay. Thank you. Ok. Entonces ahí podemos ver los ejemplos y pues algo bastante práctico. Bien, vamos al siguiente. Let's go with the next exercise. So also it's a piece of cake. You know, pretty, pretty easy. So we won't take too much time for this exercise. Sorry. And... 
This is the that that ones that I'm looking for. Okay, look at the example here. And complete the sentences using this, that, this, and those. Example, I like this picture. So in that case, we have two choices, this or this, this, this. So look at the box. Is a red box. En este caso, si está lejos de la palabra, pues está, va a utilizar ya sea that and those. Si el objeto está cerca, pues va a utilizar this and this. Y tiene que cerciorarse pues que la oración esté, ya sea el contexto me diga que es singular o es plural. Entonces, por ejemplo, la 1, ¿está lejos o está cerca? La caja. Cerca. Está cerca, right? Entonces, pues te voy a utilizar ya sea this o okay. Así que les voy a dar dos minutitos para que lo completen y luego ustedes me ayuden a contestar. Ok, así que let's work. Okay, almost ready? Yes? Okay, look at the first one. I want you to help me to respond the first one. And who wants to help me to answer the first sentence? 
What could be the possible answers that we can share in this statement? Who wants to do it? Yes, number one. This. 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 Oh, read the sentence. This is a red box. This is a red box, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. What about the number two? What, or what do we have? This is a blue box. And number that, two? That, no, it's that. That is, that, that's, a, blue is a blue box. That is a blue box, okay? Yes, because it's um, separated. So it's not closed. So in that case, it will be that is a blue box. Thank you. What about the number three? What do you have for this? Me? Yes. These are boxes. Okay. Thank you. So that will be the number three. These are boxes. Yeah, that's okay. And what about the number four? Number four? Those are boxes. Excellent, thank you. Of course, because it are not closed or far, that's okay. And what about the number five? Look at this. Who wants to help me with this exercise? Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a red box. And... That is a blue box. And and that is a blue box, okay. Yes, because it's, um, it's not closed, of course, right? So, yeah, that's exactly the answer. So, we could say, is the microphone. This is a red box, and that is a blue box. Okay, so look at the chat. Thank you. That is um, something very valuable in the system. Okay, eh, por ahí no sé si el micrófono alguien lo puede apagar, creo que lo tengo activado. Thank you. So this is a red box and that is a blue box. So you can see the differences when the objects are closed or the objects are far away. So congratulations. I think that this is for some of you, it's like a backup because we have studied this topic before, but you know, one of the goals for this courses is like every month we just have a feedback of the topics seen or studied in the process. Let's continue with the following exercise. We have some materials that we have here. We have cotton. So let's check here. We have cotton, we have rubber, we have gold, we have silk, we have leather, we have silver, plastic, and also we have wood. When we talk about shopping, we're talking about articles, we're talking about clothes, we're talking about articles, we're talking about furniture. So we're talking about different things. So look at this one. We have uh, some words and also some materials. And do you have a question about one of the words we have right here? Questions about the meaning of the vocabulary? Algún significado de algún material que no conozcan? Leader. O later, algo así. So you're oh. saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. No? No, no, no. significa wool. Okay, we go step by step. We go, uh, we go with the first one, right? Uh, cotton. Cotton. Este se pronuncia cotton. Este no se pronuncia en las dos T, como acostumbramos a decir cotton, sino que es cotton. Entonces, es como d, n, cotton. Es algodón, right? So we have cotton. Eh, y tenemos rubber, que es como hule. Para nosotros sería como, como hule, rubber. Ok, rubber. Luego tenemos gold, que significa? Or. Yes. Y nosotros tenemos silk. Silk. Que es como seda. Silks, yes. Seda. 
for clothes, uh, for material, for clothes, seda. Luego tenemos later, later, later. que es como later. cuero, es como cuero, later, okay. so es material, cuero. Okay. Y luego okay. tenemos eh, silver, que es silver. Plata. Plateado. Plata. Plata. Plata, o, you know, that's, that's word. Plastic. Plastic. Yeah, and Plastic. what about, and what about wood? W wool, sorry. Wool. wool. What about wool? What about <laughs> wood is lana. Lana, yeah, that's right. So we have lana. That is wool. It's the material, especially for clothes too. So we can see here an exercise related to this one. And I want you to help me to, to match also the answers right here. Ahí está, que no está muy bien esto. Muy bien. Okay, it says, um, vamos a pedir a, a Mr. Biaforte que nos lea la indicación en inglés. Okay, words, power, materials. What are these this team made of? Ident identify H1. You see the word from the list. Thank you. All right. So in that case, we know that um, we have some objects here. And what we have to do is try to use the material, check the material, and also the possible answers. For example, a plastic bracelet. Entonces, la número uno, usted le va a pronunciar bracelet. 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 Yeah. Mm. So we we'll say in Spanish like brazalete. No voy a decir bracelet, bracelet. No you say it's Bras bracelet. 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 <coughs> Entonces viene la siguiente, la número dos. Y usted dice, ah, a ring. Luego tenemos a tie. La pronunciación de la tres es tie. Tie. Rino tie. 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 Luego tenemos la número cuatro que es socks. socks. La número cinco que es jacket. Jacket. Y la número 6 es shirt, shirt. Va a decir shirt, no que es shirt. Ya que la I pues es suave, es soft, es shirt. Luego tenemos la 7 y estas se pronuncian earrings. Um, son como aritos. O le llaman aretes, earrings. Y la siguiente, que es la última, que son boots. Para referirnos a... Botas. A botas, of course, right? Eh, hay unas botas que son rubber, rubber boots, botas de hule o, o later boots, de cuero, so we know that. Entonces, completémoslo en este momento. In the number two, could be gold or silver. And the number seven, the same. And I think the color, look at the color. Ah, look at this. Ah, the color. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, color, yeah, the yeah. color can help us. The color, yes, yes. For the color, okay. Yes. Okay, so let's see here with the examples we have. 
Okay, number two, what do you have for the number two? And also Carmen has and Claudia have some answers too. So we can combine. Uh, number two, what do you think could be? <clears throat> Number two, volunteer. Call swing. Call the ring. Uh, it's a gold, gold ring. ring. A gold ring? Okay. A gold ring. Gold ring. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. That's okay. Okay, that's awesome. What about the number three? Tell me. I feel tight. Okay, the number three, I'm sorry. Silk. Silk tie. Silk tie. Okay, number four. Wool sock. Okay, yes, wool socks. Okay. And so that's okay. And number six, number five. Letter jacket. Letter, letter jacket. letter jacket. Letter jacket. Rubber jacket. Okay, that's great. Letter jacket. And number six. Cotton. Cotton, cotton. cotton. cotton shirt. Okay, cotton, cotton shirt. shirt. Excellent. Cotton shirt. Cotton. Number seven. Silver earrings. Yeah, the silver, the silver earrings. earrings. Okay, silver earrings. And the last one. Ruben. 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 Okay, Robert. Robert jacket. Ruben. 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 That's that's awesome. That, I totally understand that, right? Congratulations, guys. This is a great job. So you know, we we are learning about some materials, especially when we are getting some products, golden, you know, silver, plastic, wool. So we know about that. Let's continue with their next exercise, and also we will need the help of this one. Complete the sentences with the following words. The, you see the picture, I will explain you with this, um, with this one. Vamos a ver, usted va a hacer lo siguiente. Aquí vemos, eh, no sé si alcanzan a ver el cuadrito. Y ahí está, miren. Ahí están las sillitas y dice, D, yes. va a poner el nombre del dibujito. Okay. Entonces lo pone y dice, R, significa que son plurales, están hechas de Y usted aquí pone cuál sería el material por la que están hechas. Eh, okay. Luego viene la siguiente, que es, que es esto? La, la siguiente que estoy señalando acá, ¿qué sería? Ah, entonces, y entonces usted lo escribe acá, is made of, y usted pone ahí cuál es el material del que estamos haciendo. Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo pueda completar y luego lo socializamos. Let's go.
Okay, meanwhile, you work in this one and we will check the attendance list. So if you allow me one moment, vamos a aprovechar para pasar la asistencia. Entonces me permiten un momentito. So you work in the activity. One second, guys. Let's see. Let's see the attendance list. Hey, teacher, you can tell me the presentation, please. The, pres uh, the presentation, I always send the presentation. Teacher, no sé si se me escucha, pero igual aquí estoy. Ah, vaya, no, no hemos pasado la asistencia todavía. Ya la vamos a pasar. Este, recuerden que yo siempre les comparto por el grupo la presentación para que pues ustedes la tengan, para que puedan eh, revisar los ejercicios, los tengan a la mano. Entonces, pues, es, es importante ahí que estén atentos eh, para que yo se las comparta. Este, vamos a ver, les voy a compartir en este momento la asistencia, me permiten un momentito, ya que pues te, tenemos aquí varios grupos. Entonces estoy buscando el código. <ríe> Igual, para todo pues tenemos ahí el código de ustedes. That is the campaign code so we can know about your names and attend on list at the same time here. Let's see. One second. So it's, it's important to know about some materials, especially when we go and buy some products. Some people look for a ring. Alguien va a buscar un anillo, por ejemplo, y usted dice, ¿de qué lo quieres? A silver or gold? Oh, no, golden, okay, a golden ring. So you can also check the product and uh, look for the kind of things for that. So that is the point. En noviembre, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer asistencia. Adriana Gretel González Azahar. Adriana, ¿se encuentra por acá? Here. Thank you. A Agustín Alexander Santa María. Present. Thank you. ¿Qué pasa? Here. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez Escobar. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Eh, Carmen Andrea Martínez. Carmen Andrea Santos. Present. Eh, Claudia Rivas. Present. Sí. Denis Alonso Marinero. Denis Alonso. Yes. Denis. Eh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Yes, eh, Francisco Javier Orellana. Francisco Javier Orellana. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Freddy, Freddy José Álvarez. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor. Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor. Eh, Gabriela María Peña. Eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Thank you. Eh, Glenda Elisen Flores Ramírez. Present. Eh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thanks. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Liliana. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Present. Eh, Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Eh, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. 
Ana Meña Guzmán, eh, Mayra Patricia Pérez de García, eh, Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes, present, Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera, Noé Alberto, Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Wendy Patricia. Okay, let's continue with the activity. Okay, let's go with the first one. So I want you to help me to check this part. And um, let's go with this one. Vamos a ver. ¿Estamos listos? Yes? Yes. All right, the first one. I want you to help me to respond the first one. And this one. Okay, what do you have? Can you help me to complete the statement? The chairs are made of cardboard. Are made of? Cardboard. Okay. The chairs are made of wood. Wood? Wood. Wood. Okay, wood. made of wood, right? Yes, uh, the chairs are made of wood. Excellent, great job. And also, also could be and um, could be other materials, but because of the okay. color, metal. Yeah, it could be metal too. And also, there is another one. Plastic. A plastic too. Yes. But, yeah. And what else? Hay otro. The books uh, made of paper. Okay. It's made of paper. Books are made of? Paper. Paper, right? Paper. Okay, that's, that's okay too. So we can agree with that one. Okay, look at this one. The bottle, bottle. is made of glass. Excellent. The bottle is made of glass. Glass, so that's the material. Excellent. So, this. What else do we, we have in this? The next. Wall. Um, este sería el siguiente. Vamos a ver. Bag. The briefcase is made the of briefcase. leather. Yes. Uh, puede ser un briefcase, puede ser un bag también. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. the, the bucket is made Pero, of leather. It's made of later, okay? ¿Qué otro material podríamos usar? Could be um, uh, no no plastic. Uh, plastic? Rubber? Okay, uh, maybe. Maybe, yes. Yeah, maybe. we can use it. All right. Thank you. And what about... How the... is the meaning made of meaning? Okay. What else we can, we can say? ¿Qué otro nombre lo conocemos? Um... Globe. 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 Globes, right? The globes Globe. are made of what? Bottom is made of wood. Thank you. All right. Bottom, bottom. Um, maybe. All right. That's okay. Let's continue with the next one. And this is actually the last one here. And the last one, the last but not the least. Look at this. The box. Mm -hmm. The box it's is made, made of, of cardboard. What is that? Cardboard. 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 
is carton in Spanish? It's similar. Um, people say like paperboard, so cardboard, paperboard, board to large synonyms. So we also can say like paperboard too. Son synonymos. Y nos van a dar lo mismo. Paperboard, cardboard, que es, es cartón o cartolina. Entonces es el mismo material. Entonces ambas, ambas son, son aceptables. Are synonyms. Okay. Yes. And also we learn about the, the, also the material of this material. Okay, excellent job. So we go on to the next part here. And we will take a short time to respond the following questions. The last time, the last class we were talking about shopping. We're talking about saving some money. We're talking about socializing some things. But today in this class, we will talk about some other questions related to shopping. How often do you go shopping? I go shopping uh, twice a week, every two weeks, every day, a month. So how often do you go shopping? Entonces, cuando usted va de compras. Claro que no sería como ir al mercado porque es diferente, es un poco más de comestibles. Pero go shopping es cuando usted va a comprar productos diferentes, uh, different products. So, how often do you go shopping? Who do you go shopping with? ¿Con quién vas por lo general al, a comprar? ¿Con quiénes vas? For, for example, Carla. Um, Carla Tatiana, who do you go shopping with? With my mom. Oh, or daughter. Or daughter, okay. Mom or daughter, okay. Daughter is hija, verdad? Yes. No, excuse me. Yes. It's my sister. Yeah. It's my sister. Oh, my sister. Okay. Your yeah. sister. All right. <laughs> nice, nice. Daddy. All right. And uh, Lu Luis Ariana, um, who do you go shopping with? Uh, with my son. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, who do you go shopping with? With my parents. Great. Let's see here. Uh, Catherine, this mean, uh, who do you go shopping with? Um, hello? Okay. I don't know me, hello. All right, you go alone. Glendy Flores, who do you who do you go shopping with? I usually go shopping with my sister. Okay, nice. And also, you respond the following question: uh, Do you use coupons when you are shopping? Uh, coupons is like getting discounts, right? Los cupones son para que usted pues hay algún descuento. Entonces, do you use coupons or don't? I don't use coupons. What kind of budgets do you set for shopping? ¿Qué clase de presupuesto usted eh, tiene cuando va a comprar? Por ejemplo, usted dice, bueno, yo eh, tengo una cantidad de dinero y con esa voy, o lo que caiga y pues compro cualquier cosa con el dinero que tengo. So, the money that is enough for getting a product. So I have a, I have a budget. Tengo un presupuesto. Entonces usted va a responder esa pregunta con su grupo. Y la siguiente, what is your favorite place to shop? ¿Cuál es, ¿Dónde está? Su lugar favorito para ir a comprar. Puede estar en su, en su vecindario, en your neighborhood. O está en un centro comercial que en inglés sería mall. In a mall, in your neighborhood, in a store. So you can socialize this. Way. Entonces vamos a... Eh, si no vamos de compras. No, de compras. Really? Tiene que ir de compras alguna vez. So you have to talk about going shopping. Si me dice que una vez al año va, once a year. Si va a los tres meses, every three months. So you can uh, go shopping. Okay, so. Eh, mercado is market. Hay market. Y si es supermercado, supermarket. Entonces, vamos a, eh, vamos a unirnos a los breaker rooms. Tenemos unos minutitos para que usted socialice las preguntas en inglés, por supuesto y puede darnos su, su punto de vista. Antes de que nos vayamos al break of rooms, eh, pregun ¿tienen preguntas? ¿No? Es, es para practicar, ¿verdad? Yes, no speaking. Es... speaking. 
Y es evaluado. Uh, what? Es evaluado. Um, it's practice. Ah, ok. Yeah. Did you evaluate yourself? Acuérdense que en esta clase ustedes se evalúan ustedes mismos. Ok. Yeah. Uh, teacher, I have, I have a doubt no. in the question number two. Who do you go shopping with? And the answer correct uh, will be I go shop or I go shopping. I go shopping with. I go shopping with. Yeah. Okay. Shopping with. I, I, if I say I go shopping, mm. what is the difference? Es que si yo digo I go shopping, pero que complételo, si no, no tiene sentido, tiene que completarlo. Ah. Ah, uh, ok. Oh, o sea, eh, ese tiene que referirse a algo, ¿verdad? Tiene ajá. que referirse a algo si yo compro algo. Ok. No, no. I go, es, who do you go shopping es con quién vas. Con quién, ajá. Ah, entonces yo digo, I go shopping with, es decir, yo voy de compras con. De compras con. Ah, ok. My friend, my brother, my sister, my cousin. Entonces usted dice con quién va. Mm, ok. Pues, o puede decir, I go shopping alone. Como creo que una de las compañeras dijo, alone. Sí, pero ya cuando se refiere a comprar algo, entonces ahí se solo sería I, eh, shop o siempre shopping. Ya cuando se, se especifica, digamos, eh, I, go, I go shopping a new cell phone, por ejemplo. Eh, pues es es buy. Es buy. Es, 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 buy, es, es, buy. Es, es, buy. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, Lo mismo okay. para alimentos. Okay. Yes. Para okay, que yeah, yeah. Compre. Ah. Parece que es el verbo, es comprar. Entonces puede comprar cualquier cosa. Ok, ok, ya, yeah, I understand. Bueno, tenemos unos minutitos breves para que usted comparta. Eh, vamos a formar los breaker rooms y vamos a ser cortito para que puedan participar todos. Así que be ready y entren a los grupos. Let's go. Si gusta, yo le pregunto y usted contesta porque yo no las tengo contestadas. Ok, estamos ahí, Andrea, también. Si quiere, eh, solo, ¿cuál es la pregunta? La, no la tengo aquí. La número es? uno. Sí. Es, how, of, how often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? ¿Qué significa? No me acuerdo. Eh, ¿Cómo cada cuánto voy a comprar? Es la pregunta. Yo creo que sí. Permítame, no más, estar seguro. Sí. Oh, oh. Ok, sí, con Podría ser every weekend. Yeah, see this, how often do you go shopping? I go shopping um, every month. Every month, okay. Yeah. Uh, la, la dos sería, um, how do you go shopping with? I shopping with um, my daughter and my sister. And you? Alone or my sister? <laughs> hey Andrea, who do you go shopping with? Andrea, hola. I go, hello. Okay. I go shopping um, with my friend. Okay, how often do you go shopping? Cada cuánto va a comprar? 
André? São, ah, como é ser, sometimes in the month. Ok, tem que ser lá, em uh, inglês, ou seria, I go shopping, and sometimes in the month. Olá? I continue. Do you use do you use coupons when you are shopping? When I have when I have coupons, yes, I I I use coupon for shopping. For example, okay. in the Burger King, sometimes oh, yeah. <laughs> they 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 give coupons. Like example, another okay. another place too. Um, me coupons? No. You, yes. No. See if there are offers. Okay. Offers mm -hmm. and plenty. Uh, I had never used coupons. Maybe I was shopping when uh, there are offers, but I don't use coupons. Okay. Getting. Um, what kind of Budget? Do you set for shopping? What kind of budget do you set for shopping? Uh, in my case, I I try to don't don't spend uh, much money. Uh, I I don't I don't not. I don't have budget exactly. I am. In my case, uh, my budget depends on what I have to buy. Okay, depend, depend. For example, shoes yeah. and the shirt and. Okay, students, uh, thank you so much for being here with us in the class. And I really appreciate the time you have had together. So I hope to see you tomorrow and congratulations for the work done. So thank you guys and have a beautiful night to everybody. Get energy and be ready for tomorrow. Same for the class teacher. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. You thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you.